This is your Tuesday night forecast update, and usually in these forecast videos, I share with you our regular futurecast view with the clouds and the precipitation, but truly, we're not getting much impacts weather-wise from precipitation. The clouds won't, really won't make much of a difference in our forecast. What the forecast focus is all about, the winds, the wind chills, and the cold air that is in place. This is what it's going to feel like as the night continues. Wind chills well below zero, in the teens below zero as we head through the evening hours. Overnight into early tomorrow morning as our actual air temperatures fall to about 17 below zero, our wind speeds will reach maximum gusts up to around 40 miles per hour, and that's going to give us wind chills. By tomorrow morning, this is 9 o'clock, anywhere from 40 to 50 below zero. Brutally cold, our coldest period of the next couple of days. Wind chills, though, still well below zero, even when we rise to our high tomorrow of nine below, wind chills will still be in the 30s below zero. And then we stay well below zero into early Thursday morning. Temperatures at that point still below zero. During the day on Thursday, the wind chills below zero, air temperatures on Thursday below zero for most of the day, but we will be able to rise above zero later on on Thursday. Take a look at the next 10 days because there are some wild swings in our temperatures. Yes, we start off cold, but it gets warm by the time we get to Sunday and Monday, especially when you consider where we should be in a January and early February. On Wednesday, nine below for our high on Thursday for Friday, 22. Yes, some snow, mainly early in the day, could pick up an inch or two. Saturday, we rise above freezing, 37. Sunday, all the way to 48 with some rain. Monday, some rain, and our high temperature reaches 55. On Tuesday, 42. Wednesday, 33. Thursday, 27. Friday, 22. That's your latest forecast update.